All right, new vehicle test. Well, there is a Korak. What's up, everybody, and welcome back. We are all the way on the north side of Akala, trying to finish up our search, our sweep of this entire area. So we went through this pretty thoroughly. All we have left is this upper north area, Eldon's flank, and whatever's over here. I, I bet we're going to find a cave or something interesting over there. So let's go check it out. I don't know if we talked to this Korok yet. I don't think we did. Where's he at? Okay, my friend is sending up a smoke signal. I can't wait to catch up. We need some sort of machine. Let's build something. Let's try this. Oops, I guess that didn't work so well. It'd probably be easier if we just flip this upside down. There we go. Now we're talking. Look at this. So now I noticed before I, I was like, man, I wish we could save something. You get, All you need to do is press Y. Set as a favorite. This one could be a good one here. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We do need the Korok, though, don't we? So let's just stick him right on the back here. Who needs a horse, right? Oh, look at this. We could have used some of that stuff, too. This is better, I think, maybe. Oh, man. We're bottom heavy. Okay, okay, we can fix this, we can fix this. All we need is... A third wheel, maybe? Let's try it. <laughs> Stuck it to it all funny. I'm trying. If we could just get flat ground. Maybe it'll stand up here. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, we need something that can smash it. Oh, here we go, boulder hammer. I was hoping for some amber there, but that's all good. Okay, now this thing looks a little weird, but let's try it. It's working pretty good. Look at us. Look at us here.
Did we miss anything over here? Some horsies. Can we go backwards? Hey, you know the other thing too? Is this is pretty good on gas. Okay, take a break there for a second, Mr. Korok. Just want to check up here. No. Um, let's do this. Let's take out a hover thing. Where are they? Oh, here we go. We got a treasure up here. Five steering sticks. That was awesome. Lord knows we needed more of those. So to perfect this a little more, I'm going to take this steering stick. And I'm going to put it up towards the front a little bit. That's gonna help with the balance slightly. We got a pretty good vehicle here. Awesome. Twenty five seeds. Remember saying that's what I was, uh, that was my threshold before going back to Lookout Landing to uh, talk to Hestu some more. Whoa, this area looks pretty cool. Something's going on over here. <laughs> what are they doing? Oh, they're, they're eating steaks. We're gonna crash that party pretty soon. First, let's do the shrine. Oh, I've got an idea too. Maybe we'll take some cannons or some lasers, make like a laser beam contraption, take those guys out with it. The shrine imprisons and purifies the ancient evil. Outside equipment is forbidden beyond this point. I love these types of shrines. Proving grounds. Smash. So they didn't give us much. Wooden stick plus a long stick. Let's drop this and let's do a fuse. I like it. We jump up there? No. We got something here. Oops. Let's get him. Gotcha. Oh, is this like a freezing thing? That's pretty cool. All right, let's fuse this. Nice. We 
We must need bombs or something, right? Oh, wait a second. I didn't even think about... We should ascend up here. Oh, here we go. Oh, this platform we could use. We need to knock it down here first. Or it crushes us. That's not going to float. Darn it. Can we just smash this thing into there? Yeah. Hey, hey, there we go. Much better. Your equipment will be returned to you. That was a fun one. Yeah, I like the ones where your equipment's all taken away just because it's... You know, you, you can't... You can't level yourself up for it or anything, or make yourself overpowered. You just gotta go in and do it with the resources you got. Whoa! 65! This is huge. You gotta drop something for it, though. Um, I think that's a no-brainer. Drop this soldier's broadsword, right? Yeah. Man, that's a nice weapon. Okay, so I want to save this one as a favorite. And then can I delete favorites? Oh, we could only have eight favorites? We're going to cancel that one. Okay. Uh, we got more bad guys over here. Okay, this is going to be the perfect place to test this out. I got, I got an idea. Let's get a let's get a flat ground. We need some flat ground. Flatter at least. Oh, let's go up by the sign guy.
So we got a spot right here where we could build. This is perfect. And we'll do our Hoverstone trick. Oh, this one looks like it would actually be pretty tough without the Hoverstone. <laughs> Still worked. Man, I wonder how many of these signs we've held up so far. <laughs> Chili veggie rice balls. Ah. What are these? Oh, sun shrooms. Anything good to build with here? Maybe we might want to use one of these logs or something. Perhaps. Perhaps we will. Why are we using... Oh, because of the Hoverstone is still on. Let's turn that off. Okay. We're going to build a super cool contraption here, I think. I'm starting to get the hang of building. Okay, so we got some stuff out here. Um, let's see, how are we going to do this? <laughs> we'll use a sled for the base again. Trying to attach it. Okay, what we could do is we could put this down like that. Oh, and we're gonna need a steering stick. Oh, you know, I bet if we uh, stick these together, they won't turn. I don't know that for sure, though. That's got to be right. All right, all right, all right. Um, so here's what I was thinking. Something along these lines. Like, we stick this here. You know, this will probably have to go on after the fact. We're going to need a stabilizer. Which we could just put, um...
I guess we should just put on the front. Just to stabilize this whole spiel. <laughs> oh man, this is fun. Okay, okay. So now let's focus here. Let's get... This might be the perfect size, actually. So you guys might be able to see what kind of what I'm doing here. This is not symmetrical, though, so we're going to fix that. Put these uh, lasers here. Cannon. And then we're going to put two cannons in the middle. Or just one cannon in the middle, because I can't do it the other way. Oops. Well, that's not where I wanted it. Let's see, if we take this first... Yeah, it's just gonna roll up anyways. <laughs> I don't know how I'm gonna stick this to it. Maybe like that? No, I want this like... No, no. Can't I go part of the way? Well, let's try driving and let's see what happens. <laughs> All right, new vehicle test. <laughs> what? They got me. It failed. Oh no, you don't. Man, our machine just totally failed, though. <sighs> oh, maybe the can... Maybe it didn't... 
It wasn't them, it was the cannon that blew itself up. It blew up the wood. So maybe it's not a complete failure. Let's see, what do we got here? What is this down here? It's in shambles. Let's try to do a, a fix. I can't get this the way I want it. There we go, that's what I wanted to do. What's this, the cannons? Oh, this is the cannon. Oops. It's all right, it's all right. We got this. Oh, that's horrible. Let's get two more wheels out. That's what I'm trying to do. Oops. This is version two of our battle station. Hey, did that attach? Oh, I didn't want I didn't want it to do that. There we go. Okay, that's looking pretty good actually. Here's the other one. Um we need a tree for it. What am I, what have I got here? A traveler sword? Or right, we'll use this to chop a tree down. I want a skinnier log though, like those two. Nope. I don't think I'm gonna get one. Um, can I stack these? Well, let's put one on top of the stabilizer. I don't know if that's gonna work, but we're gonna try it. Let's hit it. Why is this not turning? Oh, the wheel directions. Uh... We're gonna fix this right up. No problem. Uh oh. <laughs> Come on, man. We got this thing. Version 3. No, we're still gonna call it version 2. Version 2 complete. Let's go hunting. Oh man, this is awesome. Look at this thing go. <laughs> Heck yeah, that was awesome.
Oh. We need we definitely need more battery power. That's the biggest problem here. It uses a lot of battery power. But I don't want to lose that iteration, so let's let's set that as a favorite. Oh, you know, now that we got four wheels, we don't need the stabilizer anymore. So that's a waste of battery power. Let's see what else we got. Gut check rock. Wasn't this a thing in uh, Breath of the Wild too? Oh man, I was hoping to get some chicken there. Nice. Oh, another thing we could do while we're using this is we, I wish we had more, um, where is it? I wish we had more clothes like it, but we have this, no, not the Yiga. Yeah, this one, Zonite Shin Guards, right? Proves efficiency. <laughs> Get up there. You know, the only thing about this is it's not as efficient as probably just running. <laughs> oh, no. I thought this was more shallow water. Gonna get up there. Just looking around a little bit first. Nice. We need, uh, remember from the fairy, we talking to the fairy, we, to level up the Hylian set to max, the Hylian armor set, we need 30 armor for the headpiece, and, or 30 amber for the headpiece, and 30 amber for the, um, greaves. Oh, here we go. Action. Let's see, what are we going to use on this? Stone, stone talus hammer? Got him! A lot of luminous stone out of this guy. Must be another rare? No, because it doesn't have the same look as this one. Let's just fuse it with this traveler sword. <laughs> Surprisingly, I don't think we saw a cave entrance anywhere over here, right? Yeah, 
Yeah, not one over there either. Okay, let's get up there. Diamond and an amber. Sweet. No Goron over here, huh? Where's the Goron at? Another one of these arrows. Pointing over here. Oh, let's point to a Cora. Well, there's nothing here right now. I wonder if maybe this is... One of those things, uh, something that's going to appear after we do some story work in the uh, Elden region. Maybe we got to go go to Goron City first, rescue somebody that will later appear here. So let's go to back to this shrine and we're going to head to this Elden's flank area. Back this way, right? This way into the left. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised to find like a cool cave or something over here. Oh, we had never taken a picture of a fire breath. Cool, I'm glad we got one. And he's dead. Switch it up back to our stronger armor. Huh. 
this? More skeletons? Got some meat. Got some meat out of it. So there's a couple ways we can go. Looks like we can head kind of head up the mountain from this way too. Which I am not going to do. Oh, a like like. It's like, what is that sound? Okay, so this has to fit probably upside down. There we go. <laughs> So we don't have this map uncovered, but it looks like this is coming around this way. Diamond topaz, look at all these ambers. Gotcha. Well, we could at least go up to the shrine over here. I don't see why we shouldn't, right? Luminous stone up there? Oh, I'm glad we went this way. Gotten tons of amber already. Diamond. Nice. I think I'm gonna mark this spot on the map just as like a general area we can get some uh, rocks from. Are these more rock-like likes? I'm just gonna skip them. I want to get over to this giant skeleton. <laughs> 
Somebody set up camp here. Elden, great skeleton. Yeah, this is awesome. I had a feeling you'd turn up. Take a look. Ah. It's pretty impressive that the Leviathan's eyes were fossilized too, right? Wrong. Yeah, did we talk to this girl already? Because look again, the left eyeball is missing. Ah. Ugh, after I, and after I came all this way, I wish I could have seen him with both his cute little eyes still in his head. That other eyeball has to be around here somewhere, right? Why, I'd pay a small fortune for a chance like that. So we gotta find his eyeball. So it's like a perfectly smooth rock or it's just a boulder? Well, let's look around for it. We also got a shrine here to check out. Got something here in the middle. Oh, is that the eyeball? this oh opal nice we got it is this it get in there <laughs> nice Uh, it took so long to walk all the way out here. I wish I could have seen him with both eyes in his head. Hey, check it out. Huh? Wait, huh? Ma! Eee, I can see both of his little eyes. Oh, just look at him. That big, ferocious face. Those cute, round eyes. I'm not sure whether to cower in fear or pat him on his adorable baby head. <laughs> He's just not complete. He's not just complete. He's perfect. <laughs> So you found his eye and put him back together again? Thank you. Here, take this. It's the least I can do after you made my historical dreams come true. Hmm. I, I could stay here staring all day, but there's still two more Leviathans to meet. I can hardly wait to see the next one, but how to choose? Maybe the, Le the wee Leviathan in Hebra is feeling lonely? Let me see your map. I'll show you where to find him. All the way back there, huh? He's supposed to be around here somewhere. Oh, I just can't wait to see how cute the little guy is. In fact, what am I waiting for? I'm off to see him now. So long. So Hebra, we did not thoroughly search Hebra at all yet. We got a tons, we got a ton of stuff to do there. But I think before we do that, we'll probably end up moving on and doing the uh, Elden region. I'm expecting there to be a dungeon in Elden somewhere. Let's look around a little bit more around this thing. Oh, there was a shrine right here too, right? Where the heck is it? Oh, it's right over that ridge there. Before that, there has got to be a Korok up here.
There's no way there's not a Korok on this guy somewhere. On his head, maybe? Maybe there's not. Oh. Got it. No Korok. Surprised. Or it's just hidden really well. Oh, there is a Korak! He was on the tip of the tail, not his head. I knew there had to be a Korak on this guy somewhere. Awesome. Ruby, nice. Yeah, Mayak Shrine. Yeah, we found a lot of good, uh... Found a lot of good rocks over here. Timely catches. Mayak Shrine. I see what's going on here. Is there a ball though or something? Alright, let's try to time this. Nailed it. That was easy. <laughs> I'm guessing the next section is going to be a bit tougher to time. So am I supposed to bring- oh, I'm not going to be able to fit a ball through here. Whoa! Oh, there's a treasure. Nice. A 
the lever is all the way down here, huh? Are they going to keep falling, though? Or do I got to go all the way back up there every time? Oh, man. That's a real pain. All right, let's go back up there. Try it again. So close, yet so far. I got an idea to give me a little bit more time. Check this out. There we go. Oh no, now it's not gonna move though because I moved it all the way back. Darn it. I didn't think that one through all the way. <laughs> Okay, we're just gonna put it right here and then we're gonna run. No! So close! Where the heck's the ball? Did it get stuck? Um. Oh, nice. Oh no, I can't reach it from here though. Hmm. There's gotta be a good way to do this. There. Oh, we 
we can grab it from here. Not fast enough, though. But we can do this, right? Up. Down. Here we go, watch this. Oh no! Oh, I was thinking I was all slick there. Man! Well, back to the drawing board. <laughs> I can't believe we missed it like that. There was like such a delay between me hitting stop time and it falling. That's hilarious. Oh, we got it. Heck yeah. Nice. I knew we were going to do it. Killed it. Awesome. Okay, so I think I'm done exploring this side of the Elden Mountain. What I'd like to do... Let's head back to Lookout Landing. I want to talk to Hestu. We're going to get ourselves another weapon slot and another either shield or bow slot. Probably, I guess it doesn't really matter. I'll, I'll just pick whichever one's on top or something. Unless we have more of one than another. Actually, part of me thinks we should just probably at this point stockpile more weapon slots. So let me see what let me see what we got to work with here. I'm curious as to how many it will cost. What is this here? The stealth gear is here now too. Huh. Okay. Yeah, I'm curious how much the next weapon slot will cost after this one. So it's 17 Korok speeds, seeds for this one. Beautiful. So for the bow stash, she needs eight. For the shield stash, 10. So let's do the bow. All right, now let's see how many. So it's 25 for the weapon stash. All right, looking good. Okay, real quick, I'd like to go over by a great fairy and I think the closest one... Yeah, the closest one's over here. So the Fierce Deity armor so far seems like my favorite because it has that attack up stat. But it doesn't look like it's going to be easy to level up. I'm curious what we need again. I think it was a Nadra's, one of Nadra's scales. Or Nadra's claw or something like that. So now that we have two pieces to that armor set. Yeah, that uh, attack up bonus is looking juicy. So I want to see what we'll what we need for it. Huh? 
Oh. Well, we got enough amber to do um, one of these too. First, let's check out Fierce Deity. Okay. Dinral scale and Nadra scale. So we just need a scale. Dinral. Dinral, I think, is the fire one, I want to say. I don't remember for sure. And let's boost mm. up the trousers. Mm. <laughs> oh, ha. <laughs> so we know where to find Nadra. Kakariko Village. Oh, perfect. Let's get up high. This should do it. So for a scale, I'm guessing we just shoot the side of them? Where's our booster? We were supposed to get a boost, a wind boost. There they are. it fell down to the depths? Maybe this is it. Ouch! Nadra's scale! Nice! Let's go back and do our first upgrade on the uh, Fierce Deity armor. Dinral, I know we saw Dinral somewhere too. Oh, it's in Akala. That's where Dinral shows up. We need some sort of flying machine to help us get Dinral. Or we could just jump from the sky. That might be another way to do it. There we go. Nice. Mm -hmm. Mm. Ha. 
Nadra's claw for the next level up there. Alright guys, well, we're gonna end this episode. We'll work on upgrading the Fierce Deity Armor another time. I hope you all enjoyed this episode, and I will see you guys next time. Later, everybody. <laughs>